So in this question, we want to find the Tevin and equivalent seen by this 10 of resistor. Okay, so look at just the top circuit. And this is the 10 ohm resistor. And we want to find the equivalent that this resistor sees, basically looking at the circuit here. We want to find the equivalent equivalent of this part. So it could be the same as saying find the Tevin equivalent from terminal A and B. Okay, this is terminal A and terminal B. Okay. So to do that, uh, we can just easily ignore this even 10 ohm. Because as you know, even for funny, we have Tevin and we have to open circuit, right? So you have to open it for we have Tevin and, and also for like our Tevin and again, you want to see what 10 of C is. So we just remove 10 of and we just look at the to define R of Tevin and from this terminal A and B. Okay, so let's do that. First, find the R of Tevin and so let's find. Okay. The first thing that we have to do always, always is to zero all independent sources. Zero all independent sources. In this case, I only have one independent source, so I zero this. So let's just do this here. So I zero this. Short circuit at one of them. And then we have a dependent source. So because we have a dependent source, we have to go with the technique that I will put the VS and IS. Uh, so I will put the basically test source here. We put the VS here. And then this is IS. And this way. And then we know that R of terminal is equal to V of S divided by R. This is the method. One method when we have dependent source. Okay, so this is a circuit. We have to find this VS in relationship with IS. Looking at this circuit again, there's not a unique solution. Different people might use different techniques, but let's do a node analysis here. Uh, so we can node analysis work here as well. So. This is the one essential node I just put that reference. We got this in there. And then, uh, do, do, do. and this is VFS, you notice? This is VFS because VFS is this side minus this. Um, so this is also VFS. This is VFS. And, uh, okay. But uh, let's see if we can do something about this. I can put this another voltage, but if you look at here, you see a 25, which is in parallel with 100. You can just simplify this part of the circuit. So 25 in parallel with 100. So 25 times 100 divided by 25 plus 100, uh, which is 20. So instead of this whole part, I can replace it with a 20 off. Okay, and then that 20 off is in series with this 10 off. So we can go one step further and just make them in series and just put the equivalent of 10 plus 20, 30. And look at here, we have an IX, which is gonna be used here, but by doing this series, the other current doesn't change. So we can simply just say, I have a 30 off. With the same IX. And then we have a 20. Okay, so this is a, a smaller circuit, right? Yeah, this is here. This is yes. Okay, let's do the 
Load analysis right there in case you are. Vs minus zero. Vs minus zero divided by KV plus. Vs minus this voltage which is Terry Alex. Divided by 30. And then finally this term, which is negative Ix. But what is Ix? Ix is this. This is Ix. Which um, in terms of the voltages, because it's going this way, so I can say this voltage, which is zero, minus this voltage divided by 30. So Ix is Again, you look at the direction of the term, right? So this way, so it's going to be zero, beginning, minus n, minus zero, divided by n. Okay, good. So I just replace Ix here. So we have Vs over 30, plus Vs over 20, minus. 3 over 20, 3 over 2 times Ix, which is minus Vs over 30, plus Ix. One thirty, one twenty, plus 1, 20, times Ix. This is 16, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, Okay, so because it's VS over IS, that's exactly our okay. So we found our okay. Now, next step is to find the V of Thevenin. So for V of Thevenin, as I mentioned, uh, you have to just open, open the circuit, as you see here, this is an open and then you can just open it. And uh, we look at the V of open circuit plus minus. Of open circuit. We find this. Uh, okay, so let's see. So we can do either node analysis or mesh analysis. So let's do mesh analysis. Okay, just no preference here. Let's just let's do the mesh analysis. So for mesh analysis, as you know, we have to look at the meshes and just assign, uh, just label them. So for this one, it's guide I1. And for this one, I call it I2, but I2 is exactly called Ix because that's I, um, the current that is going to this 10 off uh, is just one current, so you can just Call the whole like mesh because of that ix. Okay. And also remember because it's open circuit, so there's no term here. So I can just, I can just remember that too. So anyway, this ix is going through the whole thing. So let's do the KVLs. 
starting from here, negative 200 plus 25 I1 plus 100 times I1 minus I x equal to 0. This is the first mesh. And then the second mesh is the start from here. 100 times I x minus I1 plus n times I x. And uh, see this, the 20 also get, gets the I x because as I mentioned again, uh, this is zero, so the whole I x goes here. So plus 20 I x plus 30 I x for the voltage source becomes zero. So let me simplify. We have two unknowns, two equations. Uh, so hopefully you can simplify this. So I have 100 I x. I x times 100. And then I have 10, 20, 30, and then again, 30, 60. And then we have I1, take it to the other side, we have 200 I1, 100 I 60. So I can say that I1 is equal to 160 divided by 100, which is 1.6. But like, so like I will have this relationship for R1 and Rx, and I'll just replace it to in the first equation. So therefore we get uh what do we have here? The other So negative 200 plus 25 I1 and 100 I1, which is 125 times I1, which is 1.6 IX. And then we have uh, minus 100 IX back to zero. Let me do the math. We have 125 times 1.6, which is that's 200 IX. That's 200 IX. And then minus 100 IX goes to 100 IX. So that's 100 IX goes to 200. So IX is. So the current here is 2 amp, but remember we need to find the V of open circle. Um, but this 2 amp, this one, so we found this to be 2 amp, this 2 amp is going also down. So therefore to find this voltage V of open circle from here to here, I know the voltage of this 20 is 20 times the IX, and now this is carry IX. So basically, I can just find the of uh, open circuit. We can think of this as um, a writing a um, KVL here. Okay, you can, you can think of that, or maybe you just be able to see that this voltage across 20 or which is 20 times IX plus 30 IX is the of the circuit. So we have open circuit is equal to this 20 times the IX. And then plus this voltage source, which is 30 IX. The whole thing is 50 IX, which is 50 times 2, which is 100. Or oh, you could say just like um, 
then we have KV and Y is like minus U or C, and then from here plus four and times that plus that is all gives you the same thing. Very good. So we have open circuit is 100 volt, which is we have terminal. So therefore, as far as the equivalent, we had R of terminal, let's see, R of terminal with 7.5. This is the equivalent equivalent for the circuit, and then that ten ohm would also be here. Anyway, so. This is what we cut. Okay. 